Hey, today we're going to be talking about light as a wave. Glad to have you guys here and have your attention. First thing we're talking about today is refraction. Refraction is the bending of light waves as it goes from one medium to another. Uh, we've talked about that in class. Let's say we have a glass here. There's the water. And then you have some type of pencil coming into it. Well, the pencil right here is going to appear to be bending uh, or broken and this is because we're going from air which is one medium to water which is another medium and that's what happens this is called refraction here's an example a picture of it um, here it is coming in as one medium and then it's going into the glass as another medium uh, imagine that if it was coming out of the glass now, if we were to move this part of the picture down here, uh, and air being down here, and this would be air, such as this maybe glass part here being a window, this would come through, and then as you can see, it would be leaving um, back along the same direction that it was heading. Right. Okay, let's talk about dispersion now. Dispersion and prisms. How can how a prism can create a rainbow? Well, uh, this change in speed causes change in direction. Different colors have different wavelengths. Um, the shorter the wavelength, the greater the change in speed. The shorter the wavelength, the greater change in greater the change in direction. Sorry. The longer the wavelength, the less change in direction. Shorter wavelengths. This would be examples like blues and purples. Longer rate wavelengths, well, this would be like infrared. Uh, infrared has a longer wavelength. This would be reds, oranges. These are going to have less change in direction. Colors of light are reflected by different amounts. Violet light has the shortest wavelength and travels the slowest. So, uh, as you can see here, violet, shortest wavelength, greatest change in direction. Um, infrared has the longest, or red, has the longest wavelength and the least change in direction. So if we had a prism here, let's draw ourselves a little prism. <clears throat> and then let's draw some light coming into it. Um, for lack of a better picture, I'm going to have it come in as yellow, but we're going to pretend that to be white light. Well, what's going to come out of here? Well, we know that red has the longest wavelength and has the least change in direction. So the reds are going to come out of here very little change in direction. The violet has the shortest wavelength and is going to have the greatest change in direction. Well, I don't really have violet, but I do have blue. And it's going to have this big change in direction. Well, what does that give us? Now, well, now you can see that this is starting to open up over here. And when it opens up, it separates into all the different colors. All right. Green wouldn't quite change as much. And I don't really have a yellow. Um, yellow would be, you know, somewhere right through here. I don't want to put it in there. But anyways, that's how we get the rainbow. All right, this was a short one here today. Um, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and answer these two questions. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.